Bang! Needs Knives, I'm Jared, and today we got a new Sencut button lock. This is the Crowler. Now the Sencut knives all come with a pouch, a hank, and all that good stuff. That's pretty cool. And, you know, the pouch comes in a box. But here we have D2, Micarta. I'm sure it comes in many different options. Lots of milling on the inside. And one of... Now, let me just be clear, because all of them lately have come with such good detents, and this is one of the better ones, and they all have been amazing, amazing detents. This one, I've sat here, like, trying to fail it, and it, it, the detent is so perfectly tuned, it's crazy how, how well tuned. And when I think back to a while back when, you know, button locks, their detents kind of sucked, now looking at something like this, is like, man, these guys have uh, moved up because this is a perfect detent. No lash. Um, you, the button lock, a little hint of stick, but just a hint, and I, I personally like that, so no big deal here. Um, the thumb studs have gripping around them. Uh, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's like micro milling around the thumb studs that make them nice and grippy so even though they are kind of close to the scale it's very snappy reverse flick or thumb flick very very snappy drop point blade uh big belly drop point but you can still get to your utility cuts just fine um the geometry is really good nice and thin behind the edge when i measure the thickness behind the edge we're looking at 17 thousandths and that it seems like it'll be about 17 thousandths after sharpening so 16 17 thousandths behind the edge um beautiful blade geometry so it's gonna slice really good the ergos a little thin but n not on the too thin of sides it, it's really comfortable in the hand um even the clip doesn't bother me too bad i mean i feel it but it's not like horrible to me the the flipper tab though does you know, lock you in right there. You can really feel that flipper tab. When you start cutting with it, some people, the jimping might get a little irritating. However, it's very easy to just move your finger to the, the flipper tab because the flipper tab is a nice, comfortable spot to relax your fingers. Obviously, on ceramic caged bearings that are extremely, extremely smooth, T8 hardware all the way around except except for the clip, which is reversible. Um, I mean, they do have a T8 right here, but when you flip the clip, or if you flip the clip, you're going to have to move these T6s over here and this T8 over here. Now, the D2. Let's talk about this and the Sakshi. So, the Sencut Sakshi, both great examples from Sencut in button locks and... If you've been wanting to get a button lock, but you are, you know, on a tight budget, go with these guys. Send cut knives, man. They're killing it. Knocking it out of the park. Um, this has the best action on a button lock knife of this cost that I've ever felt. Um, now, this one has a little bit more of a drop point. Almost spear point-ish. Um, or you can say a, a small belly drop point. Beautiful micarta again, a little bit more comfortable in the hand. Um, now it also comes in 9CR. So we have 9CR, 18MOV here, D2 here. You know, some, now it is coated at least on my option, so you're not gonna have to worry about the corrosion. Now here's the argument, and I wanna know down in the comments, which one would you prefer, 9CR, 18MOV or D2? Let me know down in the comments. I'm gonna say, I like the aspect of the, the, the stainlessness from the 9CR. However, D2, from my experience, specifically with Sencut, right? I'm not talking about any other companies. If, if it was a, a run-of-the-mill company's D2, I would say the 9CR all day. But but Sencut, Civivi, Sencut, um, they don't do a bad job with their D2. They do a pretty good job. So you can expect better edge retention from the D2, better stain resistance from, from the 9CR, easier to sharpen and easier to maintain edge-wise from the 9CR. It's going to be more responsive to a strop, um, and it's just going to sharpen up easier. 
D2 is going to be uh, is going to take a little bit more time on the stone and it's not going to be as responsive to a strop. However, it's going to hold that edge for a bit longer. So, you know, uh, I personally, I don't care, you know, between these two. They're basically the same thing to me to some extent. And, I'll, and I'm just going to say because I, I know how to sharpen and because I don't have a problem sharpening either steel. So... I could take either one. They're kind of in the same category personally for me. And I don't worry about the stain resistance because, you know, one, I oil my knives. But two, I'm not in an area that it really bothers me. So just in all honesty, like both of these steels are basically the same to me. And also, in my opinion, they both do good with a medium grid edge. So even sharpening wise, I would probably put the same edge on both of them. And now 9CR does a little bit better with a finer edge than D2 um, because D2 does better with a, a medium to coarse, um, a toothy edge. That's what you know D2 does good with, with a toothy edge. And 9CR does good with, you know, a medium a medium grid edge, you know, and same thing with the D2. It's just you can go a little bit higher with the 9CR and it still hold its bite while D2, you know, will lose its bite, um, especially after use. Anyways, I like them both. I personally like this one a little bit better as a tool and as a knife. Um, the sharpening choil and plunge grind, again, please fix this. We got to start fixing these choils. Guys, um, this one was uh, didn't really give you a sharpening tool and plunge grind. You can see where the grind was a little bit. I didn't even uh, finish right there. You can see how I left it alone a little bit right there. But um, this one was a little bit better. But you can see this plunge grind right here. They gave you about, it's nice and thin behind the edge. So they gave you a good sharpening. Maybe two if you lay back the edge, uh, edge angle. One to two edges. Uh, but anyways... Yeah, both of them are great. Both of them are fantastic. But uh, I would pick this one personally. But this one is still a fantastic knife. Um, and honestly, I think the detent is a little bit better on this one. Yeah, the detent's probably a little bit stronger on... Or not stronger, but just cleaner. I don't know. They're both so good. The thumb studs are better on this one. But they're both great. They're both great. So whichever one speaks to you, I don't think you could go wrong with. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.